So we are back for attack number four. And looks like we're going to win this war. We're doing pretty well. So I am going to go for some points for the first two attacks. And then I'm going to try something on the last attack and see how it goes. So yeah, I want to attack this team here. Let's take a look. I think I like Kitty in there. Because we've got fire ailment, we've got poison ailment, we've got prevention of being able to cast status effects here, plus a bunch of ailments. So as long as we've got protection from ailments, and this team's got a ton of healing, I think that. Timius and Cabaroy can wear a team down eventually. Let's give it a shot. Okay, so I can get heat I can get um, Goldie up right away with a couple of matches here. I want blue matches, so I've got this blue match. Before I go for that one, I need I want to get up some protection from Goldie. Let's do this. All right. We can get protection with Kitty as well. Go ahead and put Goldie up. Take our first blue. Nice. Wasn't expecting that to happen, but that's nice when it does. Now we'll reverse there. Is so the poison. Oh, the poison. Okay. It didn't reflect back on him, it reflected up here. That's what I was confused on. We can go ahead and do this. Don't really need to worry about damage either. Because while that seems like good damage, let's do it with both of them. I'm, I don't think I'm overlooking anything, but there just doesn't really seem to be anything threatening about this defense. So all of their ailments just got reflected back. So now I will dispel this side and their buffs. And let's just make sure that I think Aurelius is probably their best hero. Now I am just going to keep making matches because as long as I have counterattack up, there's not a whole lot that I need to worry about or do. Their their ailments are going to kill them without me actually doing anything. I think I could have just taken five healers here. Okay, we'll go, I uh, might as well try and end this. Okay. 
Now this is over. Surprises she's not dead yet. All right, well, that was a good first attack. For the second attack, I want to attack this team here. So, yeah, I um, kind of like this. I can really target the left side. Rock will dispel um, Shaw. Last thing I want to do here is swap those two around. Oh. <clears throat> All right. I really like the goblins on this one. I think this is going to be pretty effective. I can put reflect on to steal the ward, which I can also do myself. I can steal the taunt. And then I can wear them down with both of these goblins do wither. Let's try this. All right. How do we want to start? I think I want to make sure that my taunt is up. So I'm going to do this. Before now, <clears throat> I don't necessarily need to fire it right away. But now I can start to work on my darks. So I can fire some into her because she doesn't do anything. And Forces doesn't do anything either. So I don't need Taunt up unless <clears throat> Shaw or Gilak are going to fire. And so I'll do this. All right, I will go ahead and put him up. Steal the taunt. And then we'll go over here with the reflect. Nice. Okay, I got it on all of them, which means this dodge is actually going to reflect to me. And might as well set them off. And charge both my heroes here. Okay. Let's heal, get the ward up. I can dispel everybody who's got dodge. And let's work on charging my goblins again this Ooh, that was quite a uh, cascade there all right <clears throat> he's gonna throw taunt on someone else looks like Relius. Got the dodge there, that was nice. I'll heal again. And I do want to get rid of their Relius. So let's do Acid Fire again.
Okay. They are healing, but they're taking an awful lot of wither. So I will continue to wither. And don't really have any darks out here, so I'll start to throw into some more passive heroes. Let's see if I can get some more tiles that I like out here. This okay, let's heal. That was annoying. I want to be able to fire dead boot first here. <clears throat> okay. Should set me up pretty well. Now I got to take advantage of my ghosting lane. Okay. Oh, that hurts.
Oh man. Do not want to time out here. Dang. All right. I'm going to attack here again. This is the team that I went against the first time that blocked all of my ailments, all my mindless attacks. So I'm going to try a different strategy here. I am going to try to attack this team with, last but not least, I think I do want Lodius for the counterattack. I could throw in Liana in there, which would be kind of a nice way of rounding out this team. But, well, actually, he'll block my... He goes off, he's going to block my... Um, yeah. Let's take him out. Let's just go all in here. Let's try this out. Don't have any protection against the mana steel here. Let's see here. All right. Let's try this. Yep, that looks good. That way we get the mana generation over here. We get the, the growth over here. And... Okay, let's see. Dark is really the best. But while we've got Taunt up, I will probably try to set him off at least once here. Wow. Okay. did steal that, which is annoying, copied it. So I might wait a second. Let's do this. And this. Okay. Now I can hit him with Domitia. Which almost killed him, but it dispelled him, which is what I really wanted there. And I will hit, actually, I'm going to go right in the middle here. And let's go for Magni and Viv. Toon heroes are just sick. At this point, I I'm, I don't think I'm really going to be pulling much for anything anymore. I'm just going to level my Season 1 heroes all the way up into their Toon costumes. Well, let's do this. He's going off anyway. Let's do that again. She's got a grudge. She didn't die last time, so. We 
guess we'll do this. Everyone resists. How much damage? Let's see. Let's see if he'll survive this hit. He did. Now I want to see how much Domitia will do here. Hmm, 2,600. That's pretty good. All right, I blew two attacks, so that's about where I expected. We had a lot of great attackers this time around. Wow, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight above 300, that's pretty good. All right, so my lesson here is, hey, all right, we're back or RAAR, and now that we've done one before, we can just jump right into it. So let's start with, yeah, this is the first battle, and let's remember back what we were doing here. So this is the team that had a ton of ailments. Now, the problem with teams that are all ailments is like you saw in the battle, they all, all I needed to do was to take two reflectors. And the fact that I had both of my um, damage dealers in the same color didn't really hurt me in this battle because what the, the real, the actual damage dealers here were not these two. It was these two. And so having reflect in two different colors made this an easy battle. I started with Holy and between the Holy and then eventually the Dark, I was able to keep Reflect up the whole time. And then <laughs> there was a time when D'Artagnan went down and he and Relius brought him back and he fired immediately. And when he fired, he put his spreading fire damage on his whole team. And basically, that's what killed the whole team. So uh, this battle went very well. Let's not dwell too much on this one. But I did want to make that point in that the blues were sort of irrelevant. In the beginning, I didn't have a lot of blues, but it didn't matter because I just kept making matches with my reflectors, and that was all I needed. All right, this is the second battle. This is the one that I lost. So we'll spend a second here. All right, so we started the battle here with a board that had nice greens, some darks, and then a lot of red. And again, because I did this before I did the first AAR video, both of my damage dealers are in dark. And as you saw, I made another, I made a tactical mistake. So this was a strategic mistake. The tactical mistake that I made was early on when I got the first couple of matches, things were going very well early on. And I decided to try and take out this side of the board because of Relius. And that's not a terrible idea. But the real problem for me here was Shaw. That dodge, once it's up, it obviously he can dodge dead boot. And that's what happened a couple of times. I kept getting set back on my darks. And even though the darks never completely dried up, anytime that I fired off and he dodged it, it took me a long time to get the darks back. And, um, and this ended up timing out. But I would have lost anyways probably because i wasn't worried in the battle you 
probably were wondering, I mean, it didn't sound like I was worried at all that I was losing heroes because I have Relius. So, you know, he does not have a great rate of bringing people back, but he does eventually bring them back, especially in Rush War when you can usually fire multiple times. So losing a hero here and there to Shaw wasn't my biggest concern. The things that surprised me are how effective Shaw and Galak are together. This, this, so, and so there was a time when I ghosted a match and because I had two fiends on here, two or three, I got about half or less than half of my, of the mana. And that really hurt because towards the end there, when they all had the wither a substantial amount of wither about a thousand points worth of wither uh, i couldn't get the the matches and then i couldn't get past the dodge it was very this match was very frustrating and my plan here was with rock rock was is, he the once shaw puts dodge out here this dispel cannot be dodged because rock doesn't do any damage so um he was intended to be the primary uh dispeller but it's a good idea to have your primary dispeller and your primary damage dealer in the same color and then you need a secondary damage dealer that's in a different color and in here i had it all flipped around so i had you know i had my dispeller in one color and then two damage dealers in the wrong color and you saw what that did to my team now i don't know this is that this is necessarily the problem and if you think there was a different problem let me know but this has happened now a couple of times so we saw this in the first half of the war and now in the second half of the war again and this really seems as i rewatch these battles it really does it seems like that that's the reason why I can't get a leg up. Now, I thought about putting, instead of taking uh, Acid Fire here, I was going to put Pepper, which if I did that, I would have won because, you know, when I didn't have Darks, I had Reds. And when you mix the Wither with the Growth, it's a whole different story. Now, it's a 2,000 point difference instead of 1000 points down it, it became hard there was one point during the battle where uh dead boot took a shot at relius and relius had quite a bit of wither and he didn't die he came very close but he didn't die and had he died there that would have probably changed the course of the battle where and that's because dead boots not double limit broken so without these two both being double limit broken the wither itself wasn't enough to get through the dodge this was a good good combo here and i had to every time they got the taunt up i had to dispel it so you know i wanted to dispel the taunt with dead boot and then dispel the the dodge with rock off of everybody but i wasn't really thinking that the dodge on forces can be uh can make him dodge the the dispel so in the end it, it was a cluster but i learned from it and the the next match i decided to go in i was thought i was just trying something out but in reality what happened is i tested out this theory that we're talking about here even though i hadn't you know developed it or talked about not bringing hitters in the same color i um, i tested it here so real quick we'll look at this now i have i have a healer and a taunt i have a dispeller and a damage dealer she she does both and she's in the same color as the taunt hero not as the other damage dealers then i have a damage dealer in a in a separate color and another damage dealer in a separate color. And the battles that are just become overwhelming are when there's a middle hero here 
overwhelm they, they go overwhelmingly my way is when there's a middle hero that is assisting the two different colored hitters on their left and right. So in the first round, the first half of the war, that was Ludwig. In the second half of the war, it's Pepper. So I'm going to go back now. I'm going to go into Hero IO and I'm going to remake my Rush War teams and very purposefully redo them with this, these lessons in mind. I'm going to try and find heroes that assist other than Pepper and um, Ludwig. Actually, Four Seas is another one that does that, so I'm not going to put Pepper and Four Seas on the same team again. I mean, they work fine together, but it's better to not pair them up be so that, you know, Four Seas can help another team and, and put Four Seas in between my two hitters. And then I'll have... So Pepper will be one team. I'll have one with Pepper. I'll have team two with Ludwig. I'll have team three probably with four Cs. Team four, I'll probably have Queen Anne. And then five, I might try Shackle. I'm just going off the top of my head right here. I'm not sure who I'll have for six, but... That, that's essentially what I'm thinking here. Either someone that increases the mana to the left and right, or like Pepper, someone who increases the damage uh, to the left and right. So that's what I'm going to do. If you want to hang out while I'm not making videos, uh, just become a member and then join my Hero IO clan, and you'll be able to see my teams all the time at any point when you're in my my um, alliance you can look at whatever teams whatever defense i'm running i have a chart there with all the defenses for all the different wars in order of the wars and all of the teams that i use for each war and and then i use these videos to talk about the synergies and stuff like that so that being said we'll wrap this up i hope you liked the the aar and that that this format is uh something that you want me to keep doing so let me know leave it in the comments if you like it and especially leave comments if you think that this that what i've come up with here isn't correct or you think that something else was the problem i know in every match i miss some some matches i make some poor moves but usually if the strategy is good especially in rush war it doesn't really matter so Usually, it's the team that's problematic. And uh, so that's it. And let me know what you think. And I'll see you in the next video.